Same corrupted code, same guy. Someone very creatively tried to kill Tim Kwan and Kurt Weaver. Where's Kwan now? He ran out of here, scared out of his mind. He wouldn't even wait for a protected escort. But the good news is I found a connection between our victims. Four years ago, Kurt Weaver and Tim Kwan created an app in their garage with two other programmers, some kind of malware called Kilgore, and then they sold it off to a big tech company. So that's how they made their money. I saw this guy. He was here. Ramsey Deacon. Looks like we found our meta. And for some reason, he's going after his old partners. It's like Silicon Valley. If Richard went nuts and started killing everyone in Pied Piper. I feel like he's got more of a anarchist Gilfoyle vibe. Ehrlich, maybe. Look, guys, I love that we are so confident in our ability to apprehend villains that we can have this debate, but hi. What about her? That's Sheila Ignani. She's like a big deal tech guru now. She could be next on Deacon's list. We'll definitely have to protect her. Yeah, well, my dad and Molly can do that, right? I'm on it. Great. I'll keep working on the code. Sure. Sorry about therapy. Oh, it's okay. I told Dr. Frankel that you had a work emergency. True, kind of. Yeah, and she had a cancellation this afternoon, so we should get over there. Don't want to be late. No, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's get back in there. This guy is a living computer virus. That's a new one. Look at this code. From the elevator to the car to the bomb robot, this code keeps changing, but I can't figure out why. Okay, we have to remember that it's not just digital, it's bio-digital. Most organic viruses mutate to avoid being killed. So if we manage to create digital antibodies, then we can shut this guy down. Oh, nice one. Mm. Hi. Hi. I'm so glad you're here, because I truly, deeply, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry, but I'm gonna have to cancel our date. You're gonna vibe last me. Can I at least pick the spot? It's fine. Just go. I get it. You get it? Yeah, what's not to get? You have to work, so. We'll cancel our date. Well, good luck, you guys. I hope it works out. What a cool chick. <laughs> she took that so well. No, no, she didn't. When a girl says she gets it, what she really means is she doesn't get it at all. I'm confused. Don't be. Very simple. You, my friend, are in so much trouble. You just had to fall for the girl and had to toe black leather, didn't you? We're back. <laughs> that was quick, even for me. <laughs> Inside joke between us. Work emergency aside, I have a sneaking suspicion that you'd rather be somewhere else, Barry. No, no, it, um, I mean, we do have a big work thing that we're dealing with. It's important. Yeah, but so is this. You know, if we're not on the same page, Barry, people could die. Metaphorically. No, 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 don't hold back. Turn to Iris, look her in the eyes and tell her what you wanted to say. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I said I was sorry about this morning. Iris, turn to Barry, talk to him. It's not just this morning, Barry. You canceled training the other day without asking me. Training? The swimming. For a marathon. It's a triathlon. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I didn't think canceling training was that big of a deal. Yeah, but you made all of those wedding plans, too, and you didn't consult me. I was trying to be a good fiancé. Yeah, but I think most brides would be happy that their future spouse cared about helping with the wedding. That is a good thing, right? Look, I don't know. I mean, I guess our wires have gotten crossed a few times the last few days, but I think that hardly rises to the level of a crisis. After everything we've been through together, you and me were Barry and Iris for the gold standard. I am so in love. Then how could you leave me? You left me, Barry. You just left me. Standing there alone. How could you do that? 